at that point, truth becomes the enemy. It's so crazy how Satan works. Truth now becomes the, the threat. Why? Because truth has no feeling. What happens as we're growing up is now we're feeling this pain from the anger and the emotions, right? We're feeling this pain. We escape into our imagination as children, right? Our imagination becomes our savior. And our imagination is filled with what? Crazy things. And the imagination can be used as a tool for good, but Satan knows that the imagination is a powerful tool. So he likes to get involved in the imagination. And what is the imagination? Anything. You could think of anything, and it can create a feeling. It can create an, um, an emotion from it. And Satan knows that. So what he did was he twisted it and used it against us by creating our lives around these satisfactions, these thrills of life, right? Excitement, happiness, anger, sadness, only for survival. Those give us this sense of feel good, right? Not realizing we're just lacking the love of God, right? Real love. At that point, truth becomes the enemy. It's so crazy how Satan works. Truth now becomes the, the threat. Why? Because truth has no feeling. Truth has no emotion. Truth is just stillness, quietness. But it's very, very hard for a person who's hooked on emotions and has all these thrills and chaos in their life to be still. Because stillness brings that pain, that boredom. And nobody wants to sit through that because it feels like we're dying. So <laughs> it's crazy. Truth in those times of being in a fallen state work against our feelings and emotions. So we think that it's of evil, but it's actually of God trying to bring us back home.